faux pas meets the first lady. Hello, I am faux pas the techno cat. I can help you keep safe when using technology. Kids, I'm Fopaz the Technocat. I live in the governor's office, but now I'm in Washington, D.C., the heart of democracy, to visit my cousin Ernie. We are visiting Ernie's good friend, the First Lady. First Lady means she's married to the President of the United States. Ernie was named for her great granddad, Ernest, who came from Key West, Florida. He had six toes on each front paw, and so do we. The fancy name for that is polydactyl. Our extra toes make us extra fast on a keyboard. Of course, great granddad used a noisy old typewriter, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Since Ernie and I live far away from each other, we use the internet to keep in touch. I'm much smarter online since I made a big mistake back in the governor's office. I thought I had made a new friend in the chat room, but when I went to meet her, I found out she wasn't a friend at all. Now I use the internet for talking to real friends, people I already know, like my best cousin Ernie. I sure didn't expect to have another internet adventure while I was visiting Ernie, but it happened here in the First Lady's office. It started with instant messaging. That's I am for techno cats. Ernie and I instant message each other all the time. Sometimes we even I am the first lady. I sat down to send a message back home to my governor and up popped my good friend, Cursor. Howdy, faux pas. Welcome to the internet. While you're here, remember the rules. I know, I know, I said. The three keeps. Keep safe, keep away, keep telling. I keep safe my personal information. I keep away from internet strangers and I keep telling my parents or a trusted adult about everything I see on the internet. Good remembering, partner, he said. As we talked about the three keeps, the first lady walked in. Look, everybody, said Cursor. Here she comes. We saluted and the first lady met us with a smile. Hello, faux pas, she said. It's so nice to meet you. Please make yourself at home. Oh, thank you, I said, and that was all I could say. So Ernie jumped in. Howdy, ma'am. We'll just be doing some computer work here. Hi, Ernie, she said as she walked past. I couldn't wait to tell my governor about this, so I sat down at the computer and up popped the strangest message with Ernie's picture on it. It was from someone named Six Toe Ernie. What in tarnation, said Ernie. I never use my real name on the internet. Howdy, faux pas, the message said. This is Ernie. Ernie, I said that can't be you. You're sitting right here next to me. Leaping lizards, that's not me. It's an imposter, said Ernie. Yeah, and, and he's pretending to be you, but he isn't you, I said. Oh, Paul, that's what an imposter is. The imposter kept typing. What's up, faux pas? How's life at the governor's office? Oh, oh no, he knows who I am. Faux pas, my boots start to pinch when there's something not right, said Ernie. This imposter's making trouble. We need to do something. I'm with Ernie, said Cursor. You'd better play it safe. Just turn off the screen and tell an adult what's going on here. But before I could turn it off, we got another message from the imposter. It said, You are invited to join the Friends of Faux Pas chat room. The Friends of Faux Pas? Well... That doesn't sound so bad, I said. Careful, faux pas, said Ernie. You don't know who this Ernie is. I clicked, and there I was in a chat room with six tall Ernie typing away. But he didn't sound like a friend. 
Guess what, everybody? He typed. I know something really dumb that faux pas did on the internet. She went into the ball of yarn chat room and told a complete stranger where she lives. <laughs> then she went to meet him face to face. <laughs> LOL. She doesn't have the sense she was born with. This was so embarrassing the imposter knew about my big mistake. Jumpa junipers, said Cursor. This sounds like an internet bully to me. You need to tell someone. It could get worse. And it did. The imposter was still typing for the whole internet to see. Faux pas thought she was going to meet a cute little kitty, he wrote. But the cute little kitty turned out to be a great, big, amazing, strong, handsome bulldog with huge muscles and enormous white teeth. <laughs> And I would have, oops, I mean, he would have had that faux pas for lunch if the governor hadn't rescued her at the last second. Hollering hot dogs, said Cursor. This is a bully, maybe even a bulldoggy. Please turn off your screen and tell an adult. But I didn't want to tell an adult. This was embarrassing, and I was mad. I'm going to find out who this imposter is. I started typing, Hey, you turkey, I don't know who you are, but... Cursor interrupted. Oh, Paul, he said. Never reply to Flame. Flame, I asked? I didn't understand. Not this kind of flame, he said as he morphed into a little fire. I'm talking about mean things that people say on the internet. We call that flame. Never respond to flame. That's what bullies want you to do. Just turn off the screen and tell an adult. Okay, Cursor, but I just have one last thing to say. I kept typing. I know you're not the real Ernie because the real Ernie is sitting right there next to me in the First Lady's office in Washington, D.C. So you can just shut your big fat keyboard. When Cursor went crazy, I knew I had done it again. No, faux pas. That's personal information. Don't tell him where you are. Keep your personal information safe. The imposter typed back. So you're right here in Washington, D.C., are you? How convenient. <laughs> Thunder and tarnation, said Cursor. Listen up, you two. This is I, Paupin Sirius. You need to turn off the screen and tell an adult. I think he's right, I said. You got it, partner. I know just the person to tell. Ernie said as he pushed the screen's power button and ran out the door. A few minutes later, Ernie was back and he brought the first lady with him. I was glad I could tell her what had happened. I really made a big mistake this time, I said. I told an imposter where we are. What if he finds me? The first lady knew what to do. I'm so sorry this happened, faux pas. Let's print your screen and send it to security. They'll figure out who this bully is. In a few minutes, the big security man came back with dreadful news. It looks like the so-called six-toe Ernie also calls himself Happy Fluffy Kitty Face. Have you heard of him? Oh, no, not Kitty Face. He'll eat me for lunch. Oh, why did I tell him where we are? Ernie turned to the first lady. This is the big scary dog that almost got faux pas once before, he said. The first lady took a quick action. Security, please search the grounds for a big dog that answers to kitty face. Yes, ma'am, they said as they ran out the door. I tried to hide in the first lady's office. But it was too late. Kitty Face reached through the cat door and he caught my paw all six toes and he wouldn't let go. I thought I was doomed. Help, Ernie Cursor. I don't want to be dinner. Luckily, the first lady 
security showed up just in time. Kitty Face tried to get away, but security had him bundled up and trucked out of there in no time. Thank you, ma'am. We're much obliged for your help, said Ernie. Good work, Ernie and Fauxpaw, she said. Always tell an adult right away if anything on the internet makes you sad or worried or uncomfortable in any way. Adults will know how to help you. And when it comes to your internet community, be a good citizen. No one likes a bully. Be the good person online that you are when you're offline. And when something goes wrong, run and tell an adult. Well, I guess that was another big mistake, but I'm much wiser now. Oh, I think I said that the last time. But now I know never to reply to bullying or flame. I just turn off the screen and tell an adult. See? I'm the techno cat for a good reason. TTFN. On the internet, that's Tata for now. I keep safe.